Let's begin. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sushman and this is 35mm.app. So we are running a photography contest about flowers and I thought why not I should also go out and shoot some photographs of flowers. And here is my experience. So whenever it comes to any kind of photography shoot, first thing is preparation. You have to make sure that your camera batteries are charged, your SD card has available space, your lenses are clean, your sensor is clean. So first thing first, prepare your gear. And if you think that you might be needing a tripod, also pack a tripod. In case of flowers, I was shooting at a very shallow depth of field, so I was getting a good shutter speed. Hence, I decided to not carry a tripod with me. Second preparation is to know your location. You should always search about your location in advance. So in this case of shooting flowers, I searched what are the places near my house that might have flowers. Luckily, I live near a lake, so I can just take a taxi, five minutes taxi and go to that place and shoot some flowers. So it's very important that if you're doing any kind of photo shoot, search about the location and what time you want to do the photo shoot, what will be the weather at that time. So do your preparation about location and your gear. Once you already have your gear and your location ready, third most important preparation is to at least have some idea of shots that you're going to take. So if you actually go to all these sites and study the kind of photography you're going to do, it will help you as you will already have some sense of ideas what photos you want to take. I'm not asking you to go and copy those but take them as inspiration so that when you go to the location you are not blank. So that's what I did. I went to 500px, searched about some flowers photos, got some idea about angles and everything and then I went to the location. Once I was on the location, taking a photo of flower is not that difficult. But since it's not that difficult, a lot of people can easily take photos. That means if you want to stand out, you have to do something really different. I personally like when there is a photo of flowers with a nice smooth bokeh effect because it separates the background from the flower. So you can actually put a lot of emphasis on the patterns of that flower, bringing out the natural beauty in that. So I carried my 50mm f1.8 lens with me because it gives me nice depth of field. But f1.8 is a very challenging setting. Since I don't have a macro lens, when I'm shooting f1.8, the depth for focus is so so narrow that even a small movement of like few centimeters brings my camera out of focus. And not only it brings out of focus, actually when I'm shooting so close to a flower at f1.8, I was not able to even get the auto focus. I had to change my lens into manual focus, choose the minimum focusing distance and then manually move my camera forward and backward to focus. After a couple of tries, I did get some nice shot, but I thought it's too much of hassle. And I ended up choosing something like F4. Now F4 might be a bit wide, but when you're shooting with a prime lens and you're very close to your subject, that still gives you a very nice bokeh. And I ended up taking some really, really nice shot of flowers. And here is my personal favorite shot from that photo shoot.
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm putting some effort to create these videos. I'm also new in this field, but I hope you enjoy my videos. If you really like my videos, do like, do like them, do drop a comment, and do follow us. Thanks. Have a nice day. This is some good stuff. Yeah.